Hi, welcome back on Qtile here. The topic of this video is also to kind of fix and figure out why a Qtile config is broken. But in this case, we actually don't know where it's broken. So we're gonna change it again, like we did in the other video, if you have watched that one. So any commi, comma you delete here is gonna break your, your system. So control S, save it, super shift R it, and then you have a broken system. That's as simple as that. It's easy to break your system, the more difficult to repair it, like always. So let's assume we don't know what the comma, where it is, what's the problem in the system is. Then you do a super return, that's gonna work. That's not an Arch Linux keyboard shortcut because it's Xterm you launch. And that's the Qtile stuff. So this is the default config when it's broken, you get the default config from Qtile and super return. I've figured that one out, that works. Now there's still an issue, but I can show you something already in this uh, terminal. When we type Qtile and we ask for some help, you'll see that we can ask for a list for debug, info, warning, error, and critical. And that's the thing you could do always, Qtile minus L. In this case, I'd like to see my error. Now there's an issue and that's the issue. So I can quick see it, I can, well, if I'm super fast, I can actually try to read it, but of course that's not possible. Um, so the problem is that with this thing, you can only do it with Control Alt F2, Control Alt F3, meaning you have to go to TTY. So if you don't know what TTY is, just look it up. Also lots of tutorials about TTY on Arch Linux, but it's basically a screen black screen where maybe people from Arch Linux D have seen it, videos already, that's it. It's just a black screen. And there you can actually take a look at the code because this code is just there and it's gone again. So I can't record it, but you know that the text you see there is um, what you get as a, as a response to Qtile and it gives you the line where it goes wrong. And then you go and investigate, okay, why is something wrong in line 78 and actually it's gonna say 79 because it is going to think, assume that this is one line because there's no comma. So control save. And then the other tip from the other video, if you're fixing things, you need to reload Qtile with super control R and that reloads it back up. The only thing we need to do is actually log out and log in again. And in this file, we can read more or less what's going on. So line 79, it says, line 79, where, file, whom, Eric, config, util, config, pi. Here it says, this is wrong, this I don't get. So this thing, so you just navigate to 79 and have a look, okay, what's wrong with 79. But like you see, this is a little bit broken, a little bit strange. You can't really kill it. Control C, it's not working. So yeah, now it is. Okay, fine, we, we fixed it with a control C twice. But if you can't, you log out, log in, and everything is gonna be back as normal, because this, as usual, because this is um, leftover from the old config, from Qtile. This is ours, this is Qtile's. So that's okay, um, just um, that will be fixed with a logout and a login. So that's another thing you can do, two things to figure out, hey, um, or to reset whenever it crashes. Okay, have fun.